Good day. Thank you to the organizing committee for inviting me to speak today. I'm going to be talking about the WFSA ASOS2 Research Fellowship. The WFSA ASOS2 Research Fellowship was funded by the WFSA. I have no conflicts to declare. ASOS2 was a cluster randomized trial of five post-operative surveillance interventions for high-risk surgical patients. It took place in 332 hospitals in 28 African countries. Within South Africa, there were 61 hospitals which participated. And on the East Coast, in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, there were 21 hospitals. I was the lead investigator for the province, and I was very aware that all of the researchers involved in this trial were all primarily clinicians and had clinical duties. And in a lot of the hospitals, there are very limited resources. And this trial would just add to the workload of all of these clinicians. I also was very aware that I was coming from a place of privilege where I was working at an academic hospital and we had two research assistants who could assist us with the implementation and running of the trial as well as with data collection. And it made me think, how could we offer this kind of support and assistance to all of these researchers all over the province. The, a lot of the hospitals are in very rural areas and they can actually be quite difficult to get to. Um, I think the furthest hospital is Manguzi up in the north near the Mozambican border and it takes about five hours to drive there from Durban. At the same time, I was thinking this, um, the ASOS2 steering committee had realized that they needed to do a process evaluation of the trial. So the idea of the fellowship was that it would run over six weeks. Um, this would be during the recruitment period for the province. And the principles would be that the fellow would support the trial without interfering with the implementation of the intervention. They would report back to the steering committee and they would also conduct the process evaluation. We had um, a very short time um, to find candidates once the WFSA had approved the fellowship. We put an advert on Twitter and had two applications. Uh, Lucy Rolt, uh, pictured here, was a successful candidate. As an aside, the other candidate actually helped with the process evaluation in the Western Cape, so she also managed to contribute. The WFSA funding basically provided for accommodation, food and travel expenses for Lucy during the six-week period, and also paid for mobile data, as a lot of the hospitals either don't have internet connection or the connection is very poor. So some of them did struggle to enter data onto REDCap. Red Cross Air Mercy Services uh, provides quite a few services to um, uh, health facilities in the province. It's a not-profit organization. And one of the things they do is they take uh, healthcare workers on outreach to perform duties in some of the outlying and rural hospitals. Um, they're flying to different hospitals uh, virtually every single day. And <clears throat> they fortunately um, agreed to help transport Lucy um, to the various hospitals. If there was space on the plane, she would hop on and um, join the other doctors and allied healthcare workers in going to all the um, various rural hospitals. So basically the objectives were for the fellow to um, educate sites on the conduct of the trial, um, encourage and educate the teams during site initiation, help them develop their teams and keep them motivated. During the trial, it was to help with data capture, provide support to the teams. And then of course there was auditing of the processes. Um, Lucy ended up traveling all over the province. Um, I think she really got to see a lot of different places and got a good idea of what the whole countryside was like. <clears throat> she also underwent training on the conduct of uh, the audit of processes and interviewing skills for the process evaluation. Um, this was done by a video call with Timothy Stevens and Nicola Vickery, who led the process evaluation. The aims of the process evaluation were to determine which factors determined the fidelity of the implementation at local hospital level, how the implementation of the inf intervention affected patient care, and why the intervention produced or failed to produce a change in patient outcomes after surgery. 
one of the things Lisi did was um, she had a Twitter account so that people interested in SOS2 could um, follow what she was doing. And it also obviously promoted the WFSA as well. She ended up going to lots of different hospitals and she had a very good individualized approach, trying to find out what the issues were at each hospital and then providing them with ideas as to how they could best um, run the trial at their hospital according to the resources that they had. She also helped at a lot of the sites with data collection um, she helped some of the sites with data entry into REDCap. She did a lot of education and she did a huge amount of motivation. Um, as you can see by this, um, she ended up flying to some remote places where the landing strip is just a patch of grass. And she helped with um, putting up broadcasting documents at the various sites and just generally helping where help was needed. There were some um, sites that didn't need help. They had everything organized. Um, so she just supported them in any way that she could. Um, from my point of view, um, Lucy was an amazing help to the conduct of the study. I would never have managed to give that amount of support to 21 different hospital lead investigators um, over that six week period when people were um, initiating their sites and recruiting patients. Um, as I discussed, what was achieved, it was the social media exposure, ongoing education, help with site initiation, the process evaluation and interviews, um, data collection, and Lucy sent us weekly reports of what she had been doing. From Lucy's point of view, she said that this um, was a really great opportunity for her to develop professionally. She learned a lot about um, research methodology and she managed to improve her skills in um, qualitative research. She did have a background of qualitative research, but the training that she was given and the experience she had just um, helped develop her further. She said she also managed to develop good interpersonal skills, communication skills and problem solving skills. So she found it a very worthwhile experience. Um, this picture is of Lucy with one of the research assistants who's now working in Cape Town. So currently Lucy Rolt is working with the palliative care team at North Bristol NHS Trust Southmead Hospital. She has recently applied for funding for an outcomes-based quality improvement project, which she is going to run. The results of ASOS2 were published online on the 17th of August in Lancet Global Health. And the results of the process of evaluation um, should be published by the time of the uh, WCA Congress. So I'd just like to say a huge thank you, firstly, to the WFSA for very kindly sponsoring this research fellowship. It was hugely beneficial both um, to the trial and to Lucy personally. And then also a very big thank you um, to Lucy for everything that she did. Thank you.